Hi! Today I made a circle time video for my students where I showed them all of the land and water forms using our Montessori land and water form trays and then I explained how they could make their own at home. Um, in my example I used mud but you could also use play-doh or clay or sand or rocks. Um, so I wanted to share that with you all and then below in the description I'm going to put a link to printable land and water form cards that you could use um, as well. Enjoy. Here we are. Now you can see my work. I have a land form and a water form. This land form is called island. An island is a body of land that is completely surrounded by water. This water form is called a lake. A lake is water that is completely surrounded by land. They are opposites. I'm going to pour some water in to show you what I mean. I brought my watering can that has a little giraffe ring on it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pour the water in around our island. An island is land with water all around it. Now let's pour water into our lake. A lake is water that has land on all sides. Island, lake. Islands that are near each other are called an archipelago. Lakes that are near each other are called a system of lakes. Oop. <laughs> oh, I overfilled that lake. Islands that are near each other, archipelago. Lakes that are near each other, system of lakes. This landform has water almost all the way around it, but it's connected to land on the last side. So it has water on one, two, three sides, but the last side is connected to land. It's called a cape. This water form has land almost all the way around it. But on the last side, it's connected to more water. It has land on one, two, three sides. It's called a bay. So a cape is a landform that's surrounded almost all the way by water. And a bay is a water form that is surrounded almost all the way by land. A cape. And a bay. This landform goes out into the water and it has water on one, two, three sides. To me it looks kind of like a long finger. It's called a peninsula. The opposite of a peninsula is this water form. This water form goes into the land and it has land on one, two, three sides. It's called a gulf. A peninsula is long like a finger that goes out into the water. A gulf also is kind of long like a finger 
and it's when water goes into the land. It's one, two, three sides that are surrounded by land. Peninsula, Gulf. Our last land and water forms are these two. This is called an isthmus. An isthmus is a thin piece of land that connects two larger pieces of land. It has water on both sides. To me, it looks kind of like a land bridge. The opposite of an isthmus is this water form called a strait. A strait is a thin channel of water that connects two larger bodies of water. It has land on both sides. So an isthmus would have water on one side of the little land bridge and water on the other side of the little land bridge. I like to pretend like I live on this piece of land and my friend lives on this piece of land. To get there, I would go across the isthmus. A strait has a thin channel of water that connects two larger bodies of water. Isthmus, straight. Now that you've learned all of the land and water forms, I wanted to show you how you could make your own at your home. So first I got a bowl and a shovel and I collected some dirt. Where we live in the mountains of North Carolina, our dirt is very good at packing together. It reminds me of clay. So I thought we could use this dirt in this pan to make our own land or water form. So I'm going to use my hands to stick together this dirt. There's some grass in there too, but that's okay. Okay. Can you guess what land form I might be making. There's my land. I'm going to pour it in my water. I made land that has water all the way around it. Do you remember what we call that? That is an island. This is the island, and this is an island. Islands can be shaped differently. Now what if I took my mud and I did something like this? Oh, my water is looking very muddy. It feels good on my fingers. I like the way this feels to play with the mud. All right, it's kind of hard to tell because my water got muddy, but do you see that I have land that goes out into the water and it looks kind of like a finger. There's water on one, two, three sides. What land form did I make? Peninsula. Peninsula looks long and skinny like a finger, and it has water on one, two, three sides, just like my peninsula. At your house, you can go collect some mud and find some kind of tray and something to put water in, and you can make your own land and water forms.